Hi everyone, it's uh, me again. Um, here we are on um, the fourth in my series of uh, vlogs on the repair of my um, distal bicep tendon. So here we are in uh, week, where are we now? Week 10 to 12. And all I can say is everything's been going really well. Um, the rehab has been progressing um, really nicely. I've had no issues um, with the arm at all. It's coming back to size. It's now about um, one inch smaller than the than the other arm, than the right arm. Um, in reality, back in the day when it was okay, um, it was roughly about half an inch. So it's negligible, really. Not been looking at any sort of hypertrophy, so any sort of repping system to build the muscle up as yet um, in that sort of way. Just looking more at the rehab, strengthening the tendons with the various exercises that I'm doing. But in general, on the, on the whole, um, I have to keep stopping myself um, from doing the things that uh, I was previously doing because the arm doesn't have any um, any issue. I'd say the, the only thing that has bothered me throughout this whole period was um, a little bit of um, referred pain, um, but that, according to my physio, is is normal. Um, and as I do more of the, the, the rehab type exercises, that pain just seems to be decreasing and decreasing. So it's just a matter of the body getting used to things being put back in, in, in different ways. So I think it'd be interesting now, possibly, you can tell me in the comments, um, to show you the sort of rehab exercises that I have been doing. Um, and that'll give you an idea about where I am at this stage of, of the recovery. As I said, it's it's between weeks 10 to 12. So we'll, at week 12, my surgeon did say that I'd be almost back to um, being able to do the things that I was doing before. So um, in other words, attempting, not necessarily having the full strength, but definitely having the, the physiological capability to cope with training um, at that sort of level. So let me just now take you through um, the rehab that I've been doing. So just bear with me, I'll, I'll start the video and get things going. So here we see me um, with the first of the exercises that I currently do in the, in the safety cage um, underneath the carport. So I'm looking at um, shoulder presses now. You can obviously notice straight away that I'm using two hands. I decided to, I wanted to be more bilateral now um, because that's the kind of way I work out. I've been doing a lot of unilateral stuff, just one armed, um, and I'm still doing a little bit of that, but I'm trying to now integrate bilateral work. So here we're looking at just um, building up um, the shoulders because they haven't really had much of, much of a workout. Um, Back up to about here we can see just this uh, 40, 40 kg reps of um, 10, four sets of 10. Um, it's about I'd say 30 to 40 percent down on what I'd normally do. Um, now we go on to directly going for the bicep to build up the bicep with an EZ curl bar again, working bilaterally, just concentrating on trying to keep form. There's a little bit of sway there. I'm using a belt just to keep um, not necessarily for support but just for me abs to press against something. Um, and again, the weight isn't isn't considerable. We're looking at more at tensioning the tendon. So we've got a roughly about 25, 30, 30 kg on the bar here. Um, and again, it's, it's, it's controlled, trying to concentrate on lowering, or not, not doing so well there, but lowering slowly um, to keep the tension throughout. And obviously to complement the, the biceps, I'll go into the tricep work. I'm just showing you a little bit of, a bit of variation here. I'm just using um, a strongman log that I happen to have underneath the carport, as we all do. Um, it weighs about 25 kilos, 25, 30 kilos. But again, just um, some skull crushers to, uh, to, push, the, to push the triceps. Um, again, they haven't had a huge amount of work through this period. And now we're just looking to get them back into, into to action and, and putting them under a little bit more... Um, a little bit more tension, build up a bit more size. Great. Um, but normally I work out with the, the EZ bar as well, so doing skull crushes this way. Again, four sets of 10 um, with roughly 30 to 60 seconds rest, not look, necessarily looking for hypertrophy. Um, again, with this, as you can see, again, roughly 25, 30 kilos on the bar, um, trying to concentrate on form, a little bit of sway there. Try not to hit the top of the, <laughs> the carport, does look like it. That light above doesn't work by the way, completely useless. Um, but anyway, just an aside, just a, a little bit of a time filler there. Okay, so onto, onto some lat rows. So again, 
looking at doing some some back work and some obviously some some bicep work here um, just to to get myself back into the groove get myself working up again to the uh, the kind of resistance um, that I want to be looking at when I'm when I'm looking at doing some more body weight work we've got about 35 40 kilos on the bar again it's 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 at least 30 40 percent down on what I I'd normally do but it's again it, it's as I said not the weight that's the issue here now um, deadlift getting my my arms and body used to lifting heavier objects um, so I use a hex bar rather than an ordinary um, Olympic bar uh, much easier as far as uh, tension on the back and just just general form and functional functionality is concerned functionality functionality is concerned um, Obviously, if you're a power lifter, you'd be using the bar. But again, this is just to get myself used to um, putting uh, the, the body under some some, some stress. So um, now we're getting back to being able to do body weight exercises. And you can see um, now working out on my new set of um, parallettes that I made from a couple of grab handles and some four by four blocks. Very, I think they're pr pr pretty good and uh, allows me to to go past the point of the chest to the ground um, having no issue pushing up with the left arm um, and I could go on and on possibly 20 30 at this point but I'm just keeping it in the 15 range just to build up um, slowly um, getting back there though that's 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 the thing that's that's what I'm most encouraged about no issue whatsoever um, no referred pain on any of this and uh, you know enjoying it once again and even now able to do some dips now as you can see um, down to uh, past past the elbow level should really be slowing this up I'm going a bit too fast here I'm just getting carried away but I think you'll uh, you'll excuse me for my enthusiasm hopefully um, it is going a bit blurry there I think I'm just going as I said too fast for the, for the camera to focus as I said um, almost back to, to full functionality so good news all round if you've got any comments or any questions about um, you know the, the, the things that I've shown you here or anything else in general about the, the general rehab or, 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 or lifestyle stuff that you, you want to ask please feel free to, to put your comments um, um, in, the, in the sections below but uh, take care you all and uh, have a good day